Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers, had the question based on 1 Corinthians 15, 29, what is the baptism for the dead? Paul was making reference to what the Gentile God-fearers had believed in paganism before becoming monotheistic and then becoming believers in Jesus. He was saying that even as pagans, you had a concept of the afterlife. The Greeks had a concept of the afterlife. Baptism was not a purely Jewish practice. There were non-Hebraic practices of baptism. There were pre-Christian practices of baptism in other cultures. They didn't all have the same theology or understanding of what it was or what it meant, but they had it. Before you were a Christian, when you were a pagan, the pagans around you, here in the Peloponnese, they understand there's an afterlife. Otherwise, why would they be getting baptized on behalf of the dead? They understood there was a need for salvation, that there is a posthumous consciousness and a judgment of some kind with consequences for sin. He was referring to a pagan practice, simply saying even the pagans know there's an afterlife and a day of judgment, etc. Imbecilically, imbecilically, and I'm not saying this to offend people, but to offend a, a cult. Mormonism, the so-called Church of Latter-day Saints, imbecilically takes what in context is a reference to a pagan practice. And they reframe it as some kind of a Christian one. So they go back and get baptized on behalf of Christopher Columbus and George Washington and William Shakespeare and Genghis Khan and whoever else thinking that they can bring about some kind of a posthumous salvation on behalf of the dead by making an appeal to a Pauline reference to a pagan practice. This is a utterly ridiculous misrepresentation and distorted misinterpretation of what Paul was talking about in Corinthians. He was making reference to the fact that even the pagan cultures, because we're Imagio Dei beings made in God's image and likeness, knew of an afterlife and a day of reckoning, etc., and a need for some kind of salvation. That's what he's talking about in context. Do not believe the Mormon nonsense. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print, the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. 
what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.